All right, uh, so in this lesson, we are going to see how we can make a three D logo. But in this lesson, we are going to see how we can make this logo to be Arabic three D logo. So what is the process? Firstly, uh, we have two methods that, as I have explained that many times before. But in uh, this video, we are going to see the first method. The first method, which is simple, and let's see what we will process that. Here is the logo which is in Arabic. First, you will trace this logo from trace bitmap, and uh, we are going to see this is the trace, and uh, we have a lot of detection mode because we, I have only one color, so I think the default can work. If you have a uh, logo with multiple colors, uh, you can change that to be color auto trace or edge detection uh, so but I will test that first and that's fine for now we have here the logo and I will move that here and this logo I will save this document as SVG then we will import that later uh, so how you can save that simply go to file save as and save as Inkscape SVG or plain SVG. You must save as SVG. There is a lot of methods that very helpful, EBS, DXF, or CNC machines, but we will save as SVG. Save as SVG, then let's come back here and import this file. So I will import as SVG. You should find that, that here. And I will import as, let's try skip SVG first and you should see that it's fine we have that here uh, let's see, see what is the dimensions uh, I will scale that uh, so I will select all the object and scale maybe 10 times I scale here scale uh, let's say set origin to geometry and scale 10 times and after that, I will rotate around x, x dimensions. We have here it is mesh or curve. It's a curve. Uh, th then I will go to the curve and make the resolution much more. And for the geometry, we must say that we have some extrusion. I think that work. Uh, for the letters, we can write this letters from scratch but the logo uh, we have the logo here is 3d and we we can add some dibs where's the bevel we can add some dibs here uh, 0.001 and for offset minus 0.005 let's, let's see i will zero that it didn't work uh, so we have here the 3d logo uh, so i can go here and add material any material maybe metal uh, so if you want to add metal such as silver or gold this is fine so let's add the silver i will add here white and after uh, that metallic roughness to be 0.2 and here is the result Here is the result. Uh, so in the next video, we will see how we can render this logo fast. And this is one of the most fast ways to make a 3D logo of Blender. I hope you like this tutorial. See you in the next video.